Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to give you uh, a list of resources and cheat sheets that is really going to help you uh, with your Dash and Plotly learning journey. These are honestly resources and uh, cheat sheets that I would have loved to have when I first started learning Dash. I think I would have um, learned Dash like five times faster if I had this um, uh, uh, sheet in front of me and all these resources. So. Um, this sheet is going to be under the video. It's a PDF uh, or a Google sheet, and it's going to be under the video in the description part. So open it up, click on the link, and open this with me. And I'm going to highlight a few sections that I believe are really going to help you. So you can see that this um, sheet is divided into the docs section, um, sample apps, if you prefer to learn just by um, interacting with uh, applications, the community to support any questions that you have, books, if you prefer to learn by reading and through books, videos, and blog posts. So let's start with the documentation. The first one here, let's make it even bigger, uh, the Plotly graphing library. Uh, this is the, um, uh, the page that will introduce you to Plotly graphing library if you don't know what, what that is. It will give you some uh, introduction and installation instructions for PIP or Conda or Jupyter. And then with like three lines of code, it will show you how to get started to build uh, most of the uh, Plotly graphs that are available. You know, if you already know Plotly and want to work with Dash and learn Dash, this is probably um, one of the best uh, links or tutorials to, to go through. Dash in 20 minutes. Dash in 20 minutes will uh, teach you the fundamentals of Dash and uh, help you understand how a Dash app uh, works, how a Dash app is built, right? Once you understand the fundamentals of connecting to data, visualizing the data, uh, controls and callbacks, and styling your app, then that's it. From there, it's a lot easier to make that jump and start building beautiful uh, data apps. Here we have a webinar portal as well that you can look at uh, so you can stay up to date with future webinars that are given by uh, Plotly and then past webinars. Uh, and this is a good opportunity to see uh, uh, professional apps uh, that are built by, by customers of, of Dash Enterprise and community members uh, using Dash open source. And then we have the cheat sheets. These cheat sheets uh, is a, a, app, a performance cheat sheet and getting started cheat sheet. Now, the difference between these cheat sheet is that the app performance is usually for people who know Dash a little bit better. They're comfortable with Dash. They started building um, stronger and bigger apps and they want to know how to improve the speed and performance of their app, right? Whether they have a saturated network or they have a lot of data, um, transferring a lot of data, what are some tips and tricks to improve the speed of their Dash app? And then we have this one, the, the getting started. And this is divided into Dash and Plotly. So this will give you some uh, basic code for like a Hello World app, uh, how to do uh, layout with Dash Bootstrap, um, how to build um, different Dash components, um, uh, how, to do, how to work with the callback. And then it's Plotly, right? This will give you um, basic code, sample code for basic charts in Plotly, scientific charts, maps, histograms, scatter plot, density heat maps, icicles, and many, many other graphs. Plotly has over 100 graphs, I think, to choose from. Now, if you're a person that uh, prefers to learn by interacting and seeing uh, uh, data apps or Dash apps, you can click on these two links, the Dash examples and, and 100 simple examples. The Dash example is really for uh, uh, professional looking apps uh, and professional professionally built apps by um, either Dash Enterprise customers, Plotly engineers, or I think like 70% of these are built by the open source community, right? Using open source Dash. And what's cool about that is that um, when you have this uh, GitHub code, you can actually click on the code and you, you will actually get the code to the app itself, right? So uh, this again, this is a bit more advanced uh, code, as sophisticated Dash apps, uh, but still will help you understand um, a little bit of how how the um, uh, how the app is being uh, built uh, using Dash, right? And here is the 
the cool app. This looks like a web page, and it is, but it's all built by Dash. Everything here, including the uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence, everything here is built um, using Dash. So you see all these examples. You can look at the different categories and industries depending on your uh, interest. And then we have the 100 simple examples. This is more for beginners. If you're just starting with Dash, um, these are many good examples to choose from. You can either choose from a component. I want to learn about the button or the cards checklist, or maybe choose a callback or a figure. I want to learn about the line chart, a subplot. And then you can just filter it and then choose the, the app you want. And what's, what's awesome about this is that on the left, you'll see the app itself right, with some kind of interactivity. In this case, the dropdown changes the color of the bar markers. And on the right, you'll see the code itself. So you can see, oh, this is how you build a DCC dropdown. Oh, this is how you create a, 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 a bar chart with um, graph objects and return it to the figure property of the graph displaying the graph here in the layout in the in on the page and here you have all the um, links to the dash components and figures that have been used so great opportunity take advantage of this dash example index it's built by the community for the community and if you want to add your own example just come here open a new issue and and we look forward to seeing your example and then we have a community, right? So now you're learning, you're looking at some examples, you're, you went over the uh, Dash in 20 minutes, and now you started building some apps, but you, you might get stuck because you want to do something that you didn't see in the example apps. The forum. This is the place for you to be. Join the forum. Please join the forum. This will help you so much and uh, improve your Dash learning experience. Expedite it. Open an account, um, log in, and start asking questions. There are no stupid questions. Start asking questions. Actually, you could look for the questions, right? How to update drop down options, right? And then it'll give you some, some uh, similar questions to this, or maybe the exact question you have has been already answered before. Most of the beginner questions have been answered here, so it's a good, good, good learning tool. The forum also has a, uh, different tags that you can access, the show and tell and the component index. Uh, these are just um, uh, tags right here, show and tell tag, right? And the component index is, is actually a, a page with all the different components, dash components, built by the community, right? There's uh, dash for uh, devices, there's dash for 3D cloud, uh, there's a different type of um, uh, dash bootstrap templates for, for layouts. Uh, this is a, <laughs> a powerful uh, resource because it allows you to create uh, sophisticated and more flexible Dash apps depending on your needs. All right, and then we have our GitHub. A good thing to see in our GitHub is any issues, any bugs, any pull requests here, things that we might be working on. Uh, and then the change log, if you want to see the latest updates in Dash. 2.14.1 is the latest Dash release, and this is what it uh, came out with. This is what it fixed uh, in 2.13. This is what was added, uh, and so on and so on. So it's a good, good way to stay up to date. In addition to the forum, where, where I will share the latest Dash releases and updates. And then we have books, right? If you want to learn by reading a book from um, cover to cover, you have my book that I co-authored with Anne-Marie from the US and Chris Mayer from Germany. Um, and then you have uh, Elias Dabas' book, which is also pretty good. Uh, Elias is a, a longtime community member of Dash. And then we have the videos, right? Some of these are from the Plotly uh, YouTube channel. Some of these are from the, from the Charming Data for, for my channel. And I just highlighted these videos for because uh, that I think are going to be very good for beginners, people who are just starting with Dash. It covers the most important elements of uh, building uh, Dash apps. And then we have blog posts, right? We have uh, Medium articles on the Plotly website where you can learn about different apps that were created, different staff members, and uh, different things that are coming up within Plotly and Dash. And last but not least is the Dash Club newsletter. I can't recommend it more. If you, um, if you are uh, not part of this newsletter, join us. This Dash Club newsletter is completely free. 
All you need to do is put your first name and last name. Don't know who this is. Put your first name and last name, and and you'll get you'll get access to tips and tricks with Dash, a sneak peek of upcoming features and developments within the Dash and Plotly world, uh, community uh, uh, projects that I'd like to highlight every couple of months, app components, things that are built by the community, and also access to to some cheat sheets, and. Um, and reflection from from the author of Dash, um, Chris uh, Palmer. So don't hesitate. Join us now. Go under the YouTube video uh, in the description part. Click on this link right here, and and open this and enjoy all these resources and cheat sheets that we put together for you. Thank you very much. I hope you learned a lot. Always remember we're better together. So help each other out. Have a good one.